you guys, it is Bethany Schneider here, and welcome to a brand new dating sim let's play that I'm going to be doing to to be uploading to this channel, and that is called Love Tangle, Finding My Better Half. Alright, so this game just came out, like, I think today, or yesterday, I don't really know, but this is a recent new game from the Shall We Date series, and... You know, this is something that I've never played or seen before, and it's all brand new. And this playthrough is going to be basically blind, so no spoilers ahead until we figure out what's actually going on with each of the guys that we're going to play. So, um, mm-hmm. Without further ado, let's get it started. Dang it! Yeah, uh, hold that thought. I was eating some pizza because I was hungry. I like pizza. And this is the first time in a Dating Sim game like this for the Shall We Date series to have the phone kind of like sideways how they would norm it, how the other Dating Sims would do. So this is kind of a first for, for me seeing this. Well, in a game, but like the company. You get what I mean. Start. Alright, so, we're going to pick our name. It must be ten letters or less, you can change it later on. Maybe... Dang it! Um, it's not my real name, but I'm going to be adding my channel name, if that can work. Okay. Julia! This kind of doesn't help with the uh, screen kind of being blocked. Bethany Darwin? No thanks. And keep it like this. Alright, so here it is. Let's bring it. It's Bethany Schneider your name? Yes it is, game. Bring it. Welcome to a light court. What? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Join the early bird event. Start your room. Okay, so it's an early bird event thing going on. Alright. Special offers for beginners. Welcome to Eliot Court. I have a special offer for you for a 10-day special sale. <laughs> um, I'm fine. I'll... I, oh, a diamond. Okie doke. Here's some messages. Let me check those. Issue fix in Pop Sweet Cafe for Shall We Date fans. Haven't played this hot game yet. There's a load of stuff going on. What's in the present box? It's probably the diamond that I got earlier, so I'll accept this. Oh, and here's a go home button. I like how everything is all different and new from the other games like this, so I don't think we pick our guide just quite yet, so I don't know. I'm kind of get, trying to get used to the new stuff here, so let's go ahead and uh, get, get inside the game and get started with the story. Prologue. Hopefully it won't be a long prologue. My new life awaits, awaits me here in Kaito City. And sorry if I butchered some of the words, because I can't pronounce it well, sometimes. I take a deep breath as I step off the plane onto the ramp with my, with my travel bag. Mmm, the air smells so fresh. According to my dad, someone should be waiting, uh, waiting to meet me in the lobby. I excitedly make my way towards the exit of the term terminal. And I also want to give the characters some, like, voices. So if you hear, like, some voice changes coming from me, then that means I'm changing... I want to add, like, some voices to the characters and create a personality and stuff. Pizza time. Mmm. Best, best pizza ever that I'm eating right now. When the lobby doors slide open, I am greeted by... a 
I am greeted by a wave of people. Look at all of them. Look at them all. How am I supposed to find anyone in this? Wait a second. My excitement is immediately replaced by oppression. Apprehension. I have, n I have no idea what the person who is picking me up lo even looks like. How am I supposed to find someone with a description or even a name? Maybe I can get Dad on the phone. I glance up and search through the crowd, hoping at while reaching into my bag. Along with my phone, I find a memo with my destination written on, on it on it and pull it out out to check. Wait a second, miss. You dropped something. Is he talking to me? I turn to see who was calling out and find a tall, slender man ho holding out a password to me. Oh! I quickly check inside my bag. It's not there! Here you go. He looks nice. A quick glance at the password confirms it's mine, and I look at, up at the man. Thank you. I don't know how I can sh how I can show my. When I start to thank him, he suddenly leans over to peer closely to me. Whoa! Whoa! Wait! Hey! 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 We just met. Whoa, dude! We just met. Back up a little. Whoa! Huh? Oh, what's wrong? I grew up tense under his unwavering gaze and, and delicate facial facial feature, features. <sighs> Can't speak. Are you? He's about to ask something when suddenly an excited group of girls barges in between us. Oh wow, we found you! Welcome home, we were waiting for you! Whoa, what was what was this all about? In the blink of an eye, I am pushed aside as girls surround the man. Sorry, I guess I have to go. Be careful not to drop it again. Take care. Okay, bye! The girls practically drag the man off as he, as he peeks over their heads to, at me and waves. That was... weird. Now you have free story tickets. Now it's time to start the main story, Prologue Part 2 out of 9. Holy frick. Alright, so this might be a long episode. Thanks again! I wait back to him. What was that all about? It sounded like he wanted, uh, wanted to ask me something. I tuck my password away and continue to watch him. Those girls look like, well, looks, look like a lot of fans. I wonder if he's famous. I stand there curious, staring at him for a moment. Suddenly I notice another crowd coming closer to me. Um, it's another group of girls with their heart with hearts in their eyes, their excited, their excited screams are enough to make my ears ring. Another famous person? As I struggle to get a better view, the crowd part, the crowd parts revealing another handsome-looking man. Wait a second, that man looks familiar. Oh, he's staring back at me. His gaze continues to follow me as he as he maneuver, maneuver by the pack of girls surrounding him. Ha! Uh, did he? Did he just laugh at me? Why? Feeling slightly put off, I watch as he makes his way towards the other man. Ah, oh, they must mo they must know each other. The space surrounding those two men practically comes alive as they, they meet and find and I find myself captivated by them. They sure do have a culminating presence. A moment later, they break free from the crowd and quickly make their way to, from the lobby. Oh, that's right. I need to find out who's meeting me. Returning to my senses, I reach for my phone. Suddenly, I hear a commotion from the waiting room. What's going on now? Good lord. What's what's with all these superstars coming to an airport like this and everybody... What is happening? I am so confused. I mean, really. Everyone is staring up at the news being displayed on the giant monitor there. The loud voice of the announcer draws my attention to the image display on the screen. Oh, wow! Hey, nice! Hey, I recognize him! The stern look expressions belong to a famous swimmer. Mitchell Harness, who won the Olympic gold medal in swimming in, in swimming last year. As a note, she will be taking a break for, forcible, for the forcible, uh, foreseeable future. 
The sudden news has taken the team members and the acquaintances by surprise. I'm sure many of his fans will be anxiously awaiting his successful return. I remember watching his performance at the Olympics on TV. That's too bad. Everyone felt that he had a lot of potential. Just a moment, we have breaking news. With what? I didn't. I don't think it, it, I read the, the rest of the words right. I don't know if it's a if the first part was a male announcer or a female announcer. So excuse me if I messed that up. Mm. Another man's face appears on the screen, and the newscaster grows more excited. Wow, easy. That man is a lawyer, isn't he? Word that is, there has been a surprise reversal. The recreation of the crowd more accepted this time, and everyone begins murmuring. I think I heard he never lost a case. From my limited knowledge, he was defending the politician against tax va vaccinations charges from a citizens group. Pardon? Let's go. Let's go live to our reporter, certainly currently on the scene in front of the courthouse. Holy crap! Mr. Zark, do you truly believe your client is innocent? The court's decision. The court's decision is the final word. Tell us how you how it feels to have won. No comment. Once again. Once again, no lawyer Nolan Zarlik Zar like Jr. shows he is un in, in a top form. The court's decision is the final word, huh? As he urged yet another victory in the face of overwhelming expectations of defeat. This is a 90th night time as in the time he pulled off such a miracle. After that story, the news program ends. What am I doing watching television? I'm supposed to be calling the apartments. The with the phone in hand, I take a seat on a nearby bench. Just then, I notice an air airport staff member walking towards me. Is she looking at me? Excuse me, are you Bethany Schneider? Yes, that's me. Mr. Crystal is waiting for you at the VIP lounge. Please follow me. The VIP lounge? I think Mr. Crystal was the person who arranged was arranged for my room. Of course. Thank you. We leave to finally know who is meeting me. I let the staff member lead me away. This is getting interesting. The lounge turns out to be on the, on the top floor of the terminal. It's quite spectacular. Wow! Look at the view! Sorry, Dad, I've kept you waiting, Miss, Mr. Crystaler. I have brought Miss Schneider with me. Thank. Thanks. The staff member leads me to a man settled on the sofa in the back of the room. The man removes his cowboy hat and, he, and turns to face me. Oh my gosh! <laughs> the getup! What the heck is with the getup? I don't mind the style, but holy cow! That's a lot of purple, green stuff he's got going on. Well, well, look at you, Bethany. You grew into quite, to a quite a young lady. I'm trying to deal with some kind of cowboy accent, but I'm failing so bad. He greets me with a smile. I mean, I am from Texas, so it should be easy. Not really. Why? It must have been 20 years since I last saw you. I'm sorry, did did you say 20 years? Don't tell me I met this man before. <laughs> She's telling me like it's a bad thing. Maybe it might be. Let's do it. Oh my word. What's going on? I'm not following here. That's right, you were barely this tall when, when I used to work with your father. The man holds his hand out nearly the level of, with my waist. Forgive me, Mr. Chrysler. My father told me little, a little about you, but... I knew I re realized we met before. Oh, that's no problem at all. I'm sure his mind is full of nothing but animals as usual. <laughs> well, now, let's take you to the, to the house. Mr. Chrysler, thank you for everything. Just call me Mr. C. He cheerfully shares his nickname with with me while we start to leave. That was uh, some sort of... <laughs> Mr. C leads me upstairs to a heliport on the roof of the VIP lounge. Wait a minute, are we going to ride in a helicopter? 
There's a helicopter waiting on the pad. He calls out to the pilot. Josh, prepare to leave. Bethany is my... Bethany, this is my pilot, Joshua. It's a pleasure to meet you. My pleasure. Please hurry up and buckle, uh, buckle, buckle yourselves in. Now, Josh, there's no need to rush. Are you kidding me? Or have you forgotten your plans for this afternoon? The two of us climb and climb in, and before I knew it, the doors are closed, and we are lifting off. I'm sorry, did I take uh, uh, take that, the time out of your busy schedule just to pick me up? Josh uh, apologetically replies to my question while piloting off the craft. Please don't worry yourself. There was a bit of a mishap with, Nath with Nathaniel's schedule. Ah, ah, ah. But just using the helicopter gives me extra 15 minutes. So problem is solved. Barely. <laughs> Mr. C certainly, certainly doesn't appear very concerned. By the way, I forgot to mention while I'm not piling this helicopter, I manage Leela Cork. Where, where will you be living? Oh, do you? Do you have any questions? If you have any questions, just ask Josh. Anytime, day or night. Thank you. I will. Oh, is that the Kaido N National Animal Institute over there? The, cl the country of Kaido is clearly visible through the window, although we are flying over tall buildings and colorful streets. I can make out forests and grasslands in the distance. You have a sharp eye. I got the wrong accent. Shoot! Josh Bethany, the daughter of, the, of Dr. Schneider, of Dr. Schneider is the famous animal veteran. She's a researcher herself, which degrees the biology and veterinary, me of, uh, veterinary medicine, and she is here, here to help out with the wildlife management. As I understood it, you'll be working at the Kaido National Anim Institute for... I was offered a position on the team, working on the compensation of the en endangered species. Ah, yes. I remember your father telling me about that. I is that so? It sounds like hard work. I didn't ne recognize that you were that famous, Mr. Sh Dr. Schneider's daughter. Do you know my father too, Joshua? Well then, I'm going to cut this off to here and lead this into a two-parter or so. If not, maybe three, four, or however long we're going to get through this one. So thank you so much for watching this first part of, the, of this ongoing Let's Play series. And let me know in the comments below what get Let's Play the game you want me to do next. Alright, and I'll see you in the next one. In the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye!